Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I've been doing a lot of research on this, um, about this uh, alignment that's going to happen on July the 1st. There's going to be, you know, the, the Grand Cross over the Holy Cross uh, with, a, with a solar eclipse and, and a new moon, you know. And I've been researching this and, and what connection this has to the Maltese Cross and to the end of times. And I found some additional articles as well. So this is my second video on this. Um, I'll put the old links as well. Um, I found this really cool website over here. It's called Eclipsology. Uh, it's a blog, and uh, I guess Eclipsology is the study of eclipses. Um, and uh, a lot of really good stuff. I, I can only record five minutes on this software. So, um, you know, see this thing here where this alignment happens and there's a skull? Um, I fully predict that this fall will be the fulfillment of Rosh Hashanah and possibly tabernacles, the fall feasts that have yet to be fulfilled because it's the 63rd year of Israel. See the Maltese cross over here? This thing, you could see it all the way back from the days of Nimrod. Here's the Anunnaki. See the Maltese cross in here? And I think that this thing, what it means is, is the, the, the whole, um, you know, how the planets are going to be in the crossing. Um, here's the old Anunnaki with a thing like the Egyptians have <coughs> with his rod crossing crossing the river it's the time of the crossing um, a lot a lot of information here here's the old New Mexico stuff with uh, remember how Ezekiel has this uh, throne with four different uh, animals and four wheels and stuff like that um, I, I'm going to have to rush through this. Here's some Mayan, Incan, and Aztec stuff, the Maltese cross, the swastikas, um, and uh, see that crossing right there? I think that's what's going to happen. And I think it's, it's a three-year process, I believe. I think it started in 2010. This year we'll have a perfect alignment with an eclipse, so it's going to speed things up. Here's the new moon. Um, I believe that that's the crossing. You have the, the Grand Cross and the Holy Cross on top of each other. And, um, you know, if, if anyone can tell me whether this is, the, in fact, the Maltese Cross and the Iron Cross, here's the link to Stonehenge and how it means, like, a, you know, the birthing process. Uh, let's see. And, um, okay, we're up to two and a half minutes. I'll put all these links on the bottom. Um, here's some other ones about, you know, the Illuminati. There's the Iron Cross, uh, the Maltese Cross. And, uh, talks about the Enri, uh, I-N-R-I that they put on top of Jesus' uh, name and how it relates to, uh, to the Iron Cross. A lot of, uh, they did a lot of acrostics here. The dual-headed eagle, see that I-N-R-I symbol, um, a lot of Masonic Illuminati symbology. Um, pretty, pretty interesting article. I'll keep going down the bottom. See this Orion, Inri, Zion, um, the Maltese Cross. Um, I, I think this is definitely going to be a time of uh, tremendous awakening. Let me go to the next article over here. Sorry, I have someone continually interrupting me. This one I had already put on my other video, so I won't go through that again. Uh, but I will put the link on the bottom. And uh, here's on the Prophecy blog site. Found some interesting stuff. People that, you know, seem to know what they're talking about. Um, you know, talking about the, the connection between the triple eclipses and the, the summer solstice and all that. Um, again, I'll put all of these on the bottom. Here's another really good discussion on it. If you can give me any more information on how this relates to the Maltese Cross, uh, I mean, does this thing fulfill this this summer, or, or is it fulfilled on twelve twenty one twelve, or what's what's the uh, what's the verdict on that? If someone can can give me an answer to that, I would be really grateful. Um, a lot of stuff happening. They're saying that there's war in heaven and all these. Um, uh, you know, UFOs in the sky, it, it looks like there's a battle going on. Uh, look at that, there's a swastika, see that? The Holy Cross and, uh, and the Grand Cross on top of each other forms a swastika. Maltese Cross, very interesting. 